Good evening, everyone. I'm Oliver Kaplan, the Artistic Director of Juventus, um, and it is my pleasure to welcome not one but two audiences tonight. Um, first, we are overjoyed to have um, a limited in-person audience in the hall with us in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Um, and second, we are live streaming tonight's concert on YouTube um, for friends of Juventus around the globe to join us. Um, so please join me in a huge round of applause to welcome our online viewers. <laughs> Juventus shares um, a new vision for classical music as a vibrant, living art form. And tonight's concert offers a conversation between past and present. Each of the five composers has engaged with um, aspects of their musical heritage um, and taken strands of musical DNA, if you will, and spun them into something new. Uh, the program celebrates the diverse cultures that make us unique. It celebrates family um, and the evolution of music from generation to generation. So on behalf of all of us at Juventus, um, wherever and however you're joining us this evening, um, thank you for sharing it with us. Um, it means a lot. And uh, we, we couldn't be more thrilled, and I really hope you enjoy the music.
Um, a little more talking here. Uh, we would uh, like to thank a few people for making tonight possible. I personally would like to thank Karen and Fred Ryman for sponsoring my position this season. I would like to thank uh, Paula and Bill Kaplan for sponsoring my position this season. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank Drew Wilkins for sponsoring my position this season. Thank you.
And I would like to thank Leslie Jacobson K and Richard K for sponsoring my position this season. And in addition, um, thanks to John Carey for sponsoring our entire 2021-2022 season. And I'd like to invite Joe Sadarsky up to introduce his piece. Good evening, everybody. It's an absolute thrill and honor for me to be here with you today. And uh, many thanks for, uh, to the Juventus New Music Ensemble for uh, bringing this music to life tonight. About half a century ago, there was a man and a woman who loved each other very dearly, uh, so much so that the man went to the woman's father to ask for her hand in marriage, but was promptly denied. The second time, denied. And by the third time, not only was he denied, but he was chased away with a shotgun. Eventually, they got married in secret and had children. And then their children had children, and their children had children. And those children were my sisters and my brothers and my cousins. And that man was my great-grandfather, Luis. And that woman was my great-grandmother, Esther. And so the music you'll be hearing tonight is based on a song that my great-grandfather wrote for my great-grandmother, a love song. It takes the poetry and some of the melodic and harmonic material, and I re-envision it in my own personal musical style. This is a historic moment, not only for me, but for my family. It means that the music of my great-grandfather lives and is brought into the 21st century. It means that I can share the story with the upcoming generation of my family. I'd like to dedicate this performance to my grandfather, Humberto Reis, who passed away from COVID earlier this year. I know that if he was here in the audience today, he would be absolutely joyed by the fact that his father's music lives. And so without further ado, please enjoy my piece, Promesa.